the software could do with a little more consistency. Like, why when I'm using completely stock widgets do I have three different fonts on my home screen? It's meant to be nothing, not everything. And also polished, like the lock screen apps. They should animate in in line with this transition, as opposed to just popping in. But for the most part, it does look good, and it does effectively make your phone less attention-seeking, in a good way. However, I don't think this on its own would be enough for nothing to claim that they're doing something particularly different. What might go, something that you don't see anywhere else, is glitching things. With their crap premium phones, they've had many glitch lighting zones. This being their more budget offering, it's got good. And that is actually completely fine. They still look cool. The lighting is high quality and consistent. And they have somewhat limited the amount that the light bleeds into the rest of the design, which helps improve the perception of precise engineering. But most importantly, you can absolutely tell that this nothing company has spent a lot of time in boardroom, figuring out every possible thing that you can do with a set of LEDs. Like, they can beat different patterns depending on who's calling, which is cool and well executed as a feature, even if most of the notifications themselves do just sound like a fridge door that needs closing. Or like a smoke alarm that needs a battery replacing. It's very weird. They can light up when you 